YouTube video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm currently trying to get back in the flow, especially after school to start. So I'm going to go ahead and get running into this. So I've heard about it, seen clips here and there about it, but I wanted to touch on the subject of Onisan with his um black versus white hair and see if he like I heard he said some pretty questionable things that can really offend some people, such as me, because I do have 4C, all natural, nappy ass black hair under this fake ponytail. This is all natural black hair. I have not put heat on my hair for about five, going on six years. So I'm going to go ahead and see if he maybe redeemed himself or said something more question about get my opinion whether or not go ahead sit down enjoy the video like comment subscribe see okay and it says here a few weeks back i made a video where i made fun of some hairstyles and complimented others so i mean everybody i mean there's good and bad to every hairstyle is good and bad to everything i mean like i hope people are not getting salty over little smart remarks i mean I hope not, like, natural hair do come with its complications, like, don't get it twisted, but, you know, we love our hair, we gotta love our hair, most of us do, about this time, most of us do, since we're growing up the stages of perms, but I'm gonna stop rambling, let's get on to this video. Some black curly hair, and I insulted some black parts, as everyone deserves equal, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, he's saying that he did go equal about it. I mean, he said something about it and then uh, complimented it and then insulted it. I mean, I think sometimes people are being a bit sensitive to the subject just because he's white. He does have the right to an opinion just to say, like, I don't know, white people can catch lice, you know, like, I won't ever catch lice, it's just not in my genes to catch lice, I might have an itchy head, but it ain't going down, so, it's just like, he has a right to opinion, I mean, first amendment, hello, and let's see, if I only made fun of the white hairstyles, I would be treating people with black hairstyles like they were handicapped, I refuse to do that, no, we're not handicapped, I'm sure softer textures, uh, more durable or what is it manageable textures have all kinds of struggles as well tangling drying all that stuff like I don't know why some people be flat ironing their hair wet I would never do that I mean I don't put heat on my hair to begin with but you know that just flat out equals damage you're asking to just shave your head at that point People who want equal treatment need to understand that means both the good and bad, so stop asking for special treatment if you're not a disabled special needs person. You didn't have to come out with that. The threats of violence can stop the straight up death threats we're talking about. Stop lying about what I said and leave if you do not like it. Hey guys, I just woke up. I was on a Discord yesterday uh, with uh, some of my patrons. I had a conversation with someone about uh, how to take care of your hair and so forth. Um, and they actually have the hair which this is all about, but they told me that the person who did their hair the way I suggested, um, they got over 300,000 views on their video, and I just want to say that apparently they're a total and complete fraud. And the reason they're a total and complete fraud is because they misrepresented something I said, and then they went with that. And here's the thing, I know this video is going to get a lot of dislikes, because you guys are insane out of your minds. I mean, I didn't like you when I heard All it. you can hear is your own emotions and your own warped narrative of what was really said. So I'm going to play you guys. This is this is from the video that everyone is outraged about, right? I'm going to play you the parts of the video you guys weren't even willing to acknowledge or watch or whatever, because apparently this person in their video said that I said that I was against friends they heard what or they something, wanted which to is hear. a ridiculous notion. Because I complimented many people in the same video that they're using to reference this, uh, who had a lot of uh, puff and so forth. I think I've seen that video. I think, like, it was a while back. It's just the comments that Anissa made was a bit harsh. 
Like, considering that he doesn't have coarse hair and has to deal with coarse hair on a regular basis, you know, it, he could have been a bit more sensitive considering the fact that it's not just simple giving black people special treatment about their hair. It's the fact that hair for black people in particular, hair in general, actually has been extremely, um, extremely, what, important to culture. I can't find the word. Like, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. It's just, it has a huge influence and base in our culture and very sensitive about it. And hair travels back as far as we know, such as status um it's just it's, just, it's already a sensitive topic considering black or people who wear weave and have coarse hair in general so you can't just burst out and say something harsh about that at any particular time it's not special treatment to me i just feel like that given our time or we're moving past it that we already have so much criticism and a put down to about our hair that you like you shouldn't do anything that would be questionable or provoke any conversation like you have a right to opinion and yeah there's good and bad to all hair but don't sit there if you know there's a sensitive topic it's been sensitive for years you you should have knew there was a backlash coming. Somebody was going to say something. Somebody was going to be outraged. You're already touching the sensitive topic and you hit them with some harsh ass words. Like, it was inappropriate of you, Onisan. Very inappropriate. So, here's. Hey. People are outraged about me eh. calling someone's hair trashy or. Something that you feel more inclined to believe that she prepped that today. Meanwhile, this hairstyle is confusing, but cute. This hairstyle tells me that she might actually be a really fun person to hang out with because she just lets it flow. Then we have this girl who's basically the perfect hairstyle for people of a highly curly nature. Looks like That's you put a bit cute. of effort into it, but not too much. Meanwhile, this is just hot. That's really, really cool looking. Right. Yeah, it looks like the real world version of Super Saiyan, but that's not a bad thing. Like this. This is so much better, and quite possibly one of my favorite hairstyles yet. Regardless, these are apparently all the hair types, and I could really, really like them all so long as they're well maintained. Fact is, you guys want someone to beat mm. down. You guys want to hate somebody. You, you guys defense. want uh, anyone who says that not washing your hair is dirty to be punished. And that is because you have a personal problem. You don't accept yourself for who you are. You don't like yourself, and that's why you're so sensitive about this issue in general. Nobody who's secure and confident in the way they are is going to react as aggressively, as dishonestly, and as completely one-sidedly as you guys have. So, hate me all you want, that doesn't change the way you feel about yourself. Dang. He went ham. He went ham. He said, hate me all you want, it doesn't change how you feel about yourself and so true he really did have a defense like he showed he proved that he made plenty of good comments um and compliments like he wasn't being hair discriminative in a sense like he had a good case i feel like he redeemed himself from that video but he he just need you know it's a sensitive topic like it should not be touched to be honest like like, it's just a very, very sensitive topic, and, like, yeah, so that's it for the video, and I hope you liked it. I really didn't have too much negative to say about him. I mean, he basically redeemed what he said, or he backed up that he did say something valid or positive about our hair, and he wasn't for or against it. I mean, mutual ground. He has a mutual mindset about hair. And he even finds it attractive. So I really can't say anything negative. It's just that when he did say something or he threw shade at the hair, he just did it in a harsh manner. He did it in a blunt manner. And I don't think people like how blunt and upfront he was. Like, he didn't shy away about what he said. He said what he said. <laughs> and... Uh, was confident about it and people don't like that that they
that he didn't feel any remorse or try to dance around the subject saying something but not saying something like he was just so upfront so real about what he thought his own opinion he has a right to his opinion as i said before and that's it that's it y'all just hating you can't hate on them like i can sit here and talk about how much i can't stand or just things in general are one pet from another and it's just like it's my opinion so that's it like comment subscribe to my channel Nighttime, I find we start to lose control